Hello my beautiful crafty friends. I am Katia with Lunar Sun Creations. Um, sorry I have not put a video out for a couple weeks. I had a pretty bad cold and um, my voice just sounded horrible so uh, yeah I had to wait till that was a little bit better. Um, but I am back and I'm ready to rock. Today is going to be all about washi tape. I have quite a bit of it as you can see and I barely ever use it. So it is time to dig into the stash and start um, making some cards with this beautiful, beautiful washi tape. I love looking at it but I have barely ever used it. So I have come up with 10 different ways to use washi tape in your cards. Five of them are kind of like 3D dimensional ways and then five of them are more flat ways. I'm hoping that at least a couple of them you haven't seen before. I really tried to come up with something new that I hadn't seen before. So um, yeah, let's get started. I'm going to clear this away and we'll get started on our first card. This is going to be a little bit of a longer video so strap in. <laughs> get comfy. Grab some coffee. <laughs> Okay, so for my first idea, I'm going to take a, a fairly decent length of washi tape and then I'm going to fold it over on itself. So fold it in half so that it sticks to itself all the way along. Okay, and then I'm going to take a knitting needle. Um, you could use a wooden skewer or even a pencil or just something that you can wrap it around like this. And we're going to wrap it around to create a ringlet. Okay, and then we're going to pull it off the knitting needle and I'm going to adhere it to our card. I started this one already because it is a time-consuming process and so I wanted to get a little head start on it. Um, so I'm going to use a little piece of uh, score tape. Um, you can use a little dot of like from a glue gun. You want something that's going to be instantaneously sticky though. Um, wet adhesive uh, kind of takes too long to dry so your curl will come undone. And so you're going to put one end here and then pull the other end to where you want it and give it a cut. And we're just going to form all of these spirals into a half circle and then we will use a circle frame die to cover up all of the ends. So you're not gonna, it might look a little messy right now, but you're not gonna see all of these ends afterwards. Okay, so once you've got all your like curly Q ruffly things there, um, I have cut a circle die cut. The scalloped one is a mama elephant. The inside teal one is just a no name um, AliExpress kind of one. And I'm just going to line this up over top of all of our ends to kind of hide them. Press that down and then I'm going to cut off the extra. Okay, and then to hide this bit, I'm just going to use a dimensional flower. I'm try and flatten it out just a little bit here. Okay, and then I'm just going to put a sentiment across the bottom and then bada bing bada boom, we're done. Okay, so there is card number one and it's it's definitely um, unique, but I think it looks fantastic. I really like it. <laughs> I think it's really cool, like all that dimension. I think it's pretty awesome. Okay, so there's one. Um, my second idea is to do almost like a patchwork quilt. So I'm going to take 
a whole bunch of kind of color coordinated washies and just helter skelter add them onto a card panel so I'm gonna fill up this whole card this whole card panel just with like little bits and pieces of of washi I'm actually just gonna dump them all out okay and I'm just gonna take little bits and pieces and cover the entire panel Okay, so I'm just going to completely fill that and then I will come back to you. So once you have your patchwork all done, you can die cut out of it. I'm going to die cut a heart shape out of this and then you'll have uh, a two for one. You'll have the outside and you'll have the inside heart. Okay, so here are what those cards look like. So I just put the background part on a blue, uh, pale blue cardstock and then used a big hugs sentiment. I put those, um, I, I did like a silver lining. I used a paint pen to go around the inside of the heart. And then I put those little hearts on there. I kind of wish I hadn't put those little hearts on there, but uh, still, it gives a little bit of shine and uh, I still like it. And then the other one, just did a simple white border with a heart and then a very simple sentiment. You are loved, I am always in your corner. All right, so that is idea number two, patchwork. For my third idea, whenever you buy the kind of sets of washi tape, they come in all these different widths. There's like four different widths in this set. So my third idea, I've already done the cards actually, just to save a little bit of time, because this one's pretty simple, is just to vary the widths of the washi tape that you use. So I've got um, three different widths of washi tape in this one, um, and uh, three, four different widths in this one. And then just add a simple, a uh, little die cut. Um, this one I did a little bit of um, em like embellishing with a gold paint pen and it says, uh, it's a really funny sentiment actually, it says, hey train wreck, this isn't your station. <laughs> I think it's funny to have a really pretty card and then have a very sassy sentiment. <laughs> I kind of like that. And then the other one, um, I just added a couple die cut flowers and then a Tim Holtz chipboard um, sentiment. All right, so easy peasy on those ones. And then in that same vein, my fourth idea is to do a background with the varying widths of washi tape, but this time cut out the background into varying shapes. So I've got some half circles. I've got some uh, strips that I've put onto some phone tape. And then just a wider strip. So just cut them into different shapes and pieces and kind of play with, play with that. Um, let's see, how do I want this arranged? All right, so that's how that one looks. I think it's quite cool. And I've just got a sentiment that says, do what makes your soul shine. All right, so that was number four. Okay, and then five is a fairly simple one, but super effective. I've got two of these, um, gorgeous galaxy background washies, these wide washies from Altenew. So I've got that one and, and this one here. So number five is to just use the washi as a background itself. You just take your card panel and lay the washi over the entire panel and then just tuck it in, just fold it in behind. 
All right, so I've got this one already done. Um, used the widest washi like this across the card and then a little bonus tip is that you can stamp on washi so I used white pigment ink and a little moon stamp and did that stamping there just for a subtle effect and then um, covered it with uh, glossy accents so that it shines a little bit and then I love you to the moon and the stars is from one of these sentiment packs. Alright, so that is number five. Uh, number six is a variation of number five. This is another wide washi tape from Alta New. So started just with a simple card panel and then I'm going to use this rainbow die. I'm going to double up this rainbow word. I've got a vellum background that I'm going to put there. And then I did another panel out of the rainbow washi and I've just cut a whole bunch of squares and I'm just going to kind of pop some of them up on foam tape just to give a little bit of uh, dimension. So number six is cutting out patterns out of the washi tape. Okay, and that is what this card turned out like. So I decided to angle all the little squares just to give it a little bit more interest and they're all popped up onto uh, foam tape. All right, so that's that one. And I did do two other cards using that method, cutting out bits of the washi tape. So this one here uses this wide washi tape from Alta New and I just cut out some of the flowers. I had this background already um, painted in my stash so I just used that. And then this is also washi tape in the background here. And then I also did this one. So this is cutting out a couple layers of this mushroom washi and then I did um, a stamped image up here. So there's that one as well. Okay, so that is number six, cutting out bits of the washi tape. My seventh idea is to use a full panel washi in an embossing folder. So I've got this one, I don't know if you can see, it's kind of like this circular floral design. So I'm going to put that in. You want to make sure that the raised part is going to be on this side. Okay, so I'm going to run this through my die cut machine. Okay, so there it is. It's a little hard to see right now. So I'm just going to go over the areas, uh, the raised areas with some of this aged brass um, metallic wax. Okay, so here's that card. I just added um, a few little uh, die cut leaf embellishments just for some subtle extra ness. Extra ness? <laughs> That's a word, right? And then the sentiment is actually washi tape. So that's a little bonus. A bonus use for washi tape is to use it as a sentiment. Um, I made a second card as well. So this one, I used this beautiful blue floral washi tape and, and this script embossing folder. And this as well is a washi tape sentiment. All right, so those are the cards for my idea number seven use in an embossing folder. Idea number seven is to create pleats. So I'm going to take the washi tape and similar to how we did the very first idea, I'm going to fold it in on itself. However, I'm not going to go all the way. I want there to be 
some stickiness along the top. So see how it's not folded all the way together? So this little bit right here is about an eighth of an inch. It's still sticky. So that is going to go down onto our panel. And we're just going to keep doing that all the way up. and kind of stack them, like overlap them. And at the moment the width uh, that it extends doesn't matter because we're going to be cutting this. Okay, and we're just going to continue in that fashion laying them, uh, overlapping them, and kind of forming like pleats. Okay, so I'm just going to fill up this whole panel and I'll be back in just a sec. Okay, so I've got my pleats all done. <laughs> I just love, sounds like one of those old washboards. I love it. Um, I maybe should have done it in a different washi tape because I don't think you can see the effect quite as much as you could if it was um, solid washi tape. Um, I kind of wish that I had done like an alternating pattern of blue and orange, but I mean I could do that on another, another card later on and that would be really, really effective. Uh, but I found this. Um, in an old paper collection, an old Bow Bunny paper collection, so I'm going to put that there. And it also had a couple flowers that I cut out, so I'm going to put those there, like that. Yeah, alright, so I'm going to glue those down. I'm not showing the whole process of creating every card because I just didn't want this video to be like a full three hours long which is what it would have been. <laughs> okay, and I'm just gonna add a few little gemstones here. Okay, and there is that card. Um, if you wanted to make it even more dramatic, you could use a wider washi tape as well, and then you'd really be able to see the pleats. But I love the way this turned out, and I also love the way it sounds. <laughs> okay, so that is Idea eight. Okay, idea number nine is to create dimensional flowers. So to do this, cut a circle. Doesn't have to be a perfect circle because you're not gonna see it, but just cut a circle out of some scrap uh, cardstock. Take a bit of washi tape, I don't know about three inches long or so, fold it over to form like an L, fold it over again, so you've got this like kind of like a point, and then take the two sticky bits and overlap them a little bit. And put it onto your circle. And then keep doing that until you go all the way around. So fold it 90 degrees, 90 degrees, and then fold it on itself. And you can do this with um, multicolors of washi tape if you like or you can do layers where it's alternating colors on the layers. Okay, so there's my first layer. Now I'm going to do the same thing, but I'm going to make them just a little bit smaller and I'm going to put the point of each one in between where the last petals were. Okay, so there's my second layer and for the innermost layer I'm going to use a really super thin washi tape and do the exact same thing. 
Okay, so this is what the finished card looked like. The flowers had so much going on that I didn't feel I needed to do too much to the background, so just kept it really simple with a little thank you sentiment. So that is number nine. And number 10, fairly simple for number 10, just doing some geometric uh, patterns with the washi tape. So I'm just kind of folding the bits over on the sides. Um, I think I might do one up and down and one to the side. Okay, and then just cut a diamond shape out of a die cut. So this center bit is just from this die cut. I'm just using this little, this piece here. going to do a simple sentiment. Okay, and there is card 10. So, let's see all the ones that we've got. We've got, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, and ten. So those are my ten ideas. So these are all the beautiful cards for today. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope there were a few techniques that you maybe hadn't thought of already, because I know there's a lot of washi tape videos out there, but I really tried to think outside the box on this one. And they're all very, very different. So um, yeah, I hope you got inspired to do some creating of your own with washi tape. So please give the, this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I will be back with another video very, very soon. I love you all and I hope you're having an amazing day. Bye.